Well, hello YouTube. Today you join me on a little adventure that's following on from the last episode, which was um, abandoned in Japan. So yeah, today not a building. Today I'm going to check out a Ducati Monster M1000 SEI or SIE, I forgot which way it goes, that has just been abandoned. Now that is a, when it was new, a, well, an $11,000 motorcycle has a uh, show up, upside down adjustable forks, it's got Brembo calipers, it's got a 1000cc V-twin with something like 80 horsepower, the uh, signature Ducati, <coughs> I think I just swallowed a fly, Ducati uh, trellis style frame, so it's basically a badass bike and I can't, I don't know why someone would have abandoned it, maybe something happened to the owner, who knows, but um, yeah basically i was tipped off about it then i did a street view for it google street view and found pictures of it from 2012. so you know it's 2020 now it's been there probably unridden for eight years now that is insane now i want to i want to try and get this bike but i've been asking around um, a couple of my friends who are more more legally aware than i am uh, Japanese friends uh, you know is there some way I can claim this bike is there some way I can register it or if I just go and take it will I get busted for theft if there's no owner maybe it's okay you know it's not all these sort of things but basically um, yeah I'm just gonna go and have a look at it today and I'll take you with me see what kind of condition it's in but well, I imagine if it's been there for eight years it's not gonna be in good condition is it but anyway we will soon see so follow me on this little quick ride through the city and we should be there in about five minutes. All right, so we're just around the corner from the bike now. I mean, this area is not a... Uh, posh area so to speak this is kind of like well, it's got a bad reputation over here. this area is um, Nakagawaku so there's a th there's kind of three areas in the city that are, have got kind of a shitty image Nakagawaku, Nakamuraku and uh, Minatoku so this is not one of the best areas but it's also not like ghetto as fuck or anything like that oh there's a car here today. There's a car here. There was never a car here on the on the pictures. Hmm, so there it is. Well, I wasn't expecting there a car to be here, but um anyway, let's have a look at it. See what it looks like. Yeah, as you can tell, it's been here for a long time. It's got weeds growing on it. But yeah, show up, oh, the fork boots are all perished. It's not in terrible condition considering it's been here for eight years. All the oil cooler lines are rusty. But yeah, and the chain has been cut, the, the lock has been cut. Someone's cut that. Chain's rusty as hell, there's all cobwebs on it. But stainless exhaust, they're still in good condition. Carbon fiber panels are still in good condition. Has it got a digital speedometer? Can't tell how many kilometers. Yeah, can't tell how many kilometers it's done. Yeah, what's happened to these grips? Jesus. Disgusting. But yeah, no no number plate on it unfortunately. Hmm. The, the suspension is still pretty shiny looking. The, the spring's not rusty or anything like that. I mean, this could be restored. This could be rescued. Brembo calipers, like I said. I mean, the the, fr the swing arm's not terrible. I mean, it's aluminium, so it's not going to rust anyway. But the frame's pretty decent too. The frame's not going to rusty and horrible. Don't know if that's aluminium or steel. It's probably steel. 
yeah like spark plugs are all corroded and stuff but the wiring itself doesn't look too bad it's not like hard or anything but yeah why why was it just abandoned oh, Jesus Christ will it stay on its stand carbon clutch cover open clutch cover the frame itself doesn't appear to be dented either that exhaust is still as good as well all the rusty bolts and shit like that but that's to be expected isn't it oh, it's just a waste isn't it this someone needs to rescue this I think I'll go and check out the apartment and see if anyone knows anything about it oh great look at that shit from the from the grips well yeah what an unbelievable unbelievable bike to just be leave just leave to leave to rot where's the where's the frame number on this oh, there's a number on the engine get a close up of that see if I can check it online or something hmm all right let's go inside this building and see if we can find anyone to talk to see if anyone knows who it belongs to now I'm gonna have to clean this both my gloves gross number 11 I don't think the parking number will relate to anything, will it? I wonder if there's a notice board or something. Hmm. Oh, number 11 is just the 11th floor which I don't think would correspond to the actual parking number so we're going to these two guys hmm hoping I can actually find someone walking around and ask them what I could do is leave a note on that car under the wipers and say is this bike behind your car yours Oh well, a bit of a, a loss. Not going to be able to um, find anyone to speak to, I guess. Normally there's some old people wandering, loitering about, but not today. Hmm. Oh well. Let's print out a letter and stick it on that car um, under that, those wiper blades. Now let's go and find someone to <laughs> clean these gloves. <laughs> Alright guys, well, the bike is still here obviously after 8 years. And I think it needs, it needs rescuing. It's just a waste to leave it rust away here. So I'll do my best to try and find the owner or find some legal way of getting it somehow. But yeah, I'd have to, that car's obviously in the way. It'd be a bit tricky to get it out anyway. But uh, yeah, well, uh, I will keep you updated on this. So thank you for watching. Goodbye.